Hi everybody, this is uh, Reconter One, otherwise known as Jack, and uh, this is my 1300th video. Now for uh, the people that go way back in YouTube uh, history here, this is probably about the second time I've reached 1300 videos. I achieved that a long time ago and took down all those videos because of a problem with showing license plates. Uh, some did not appreciate that, so I took all the videos down. So this time I've made a concerted effort to avoid the uh, license plates. Another issue that surfaced uh, early was the, the music in the background. As you may know, uh, going to car shows, it's not at all uncommon to have a, a DJ there and uh, you have music almost at every show, at least down here. And uh, that became a copyright uh, situation, so that required me to mute uh, the soundtrack and uh, do my own uh, commentary. So that was another issue here uh, with uh, this channel. But I think things have been resolved fairly well. I got a new camera, but that's presented a problem because it's not compatible with the uh, computer that I normally use. And uh, so that is kind of in limbo until I figure out how to use it. Yeah, I'm sure it probably will be better, but it requires more video editing uh, stuff than I'm used to doing. So that's going to be on the back burner. I thought I'd let you know some issues that I'm having uh, with uh, the channel and the availability of cars. Uh, with 1300 videos, I think you can figure that uh, in one geographic area, uh, you are running out of a supply of cars to video. Now here we're particularly gifted because all year long, we have uh, car shows every week. And that's uh, a very nice feature. But you'll find at the car shows that the same people tend to show up with the same cars. So if you don't want to have numerous examples of the same car, yeah, that automatically limits the number of uh, videos you can make at a given car show. To give you a, another example, uh, I was at three car shows this past weekend, one at Old Town, which is just outside Disney's main gate, outside Kissimmee, and they have a car show every weekend, but generally the same cars tend to show up. So that means that although there are a lot of cars, uh, that over a period of time, it limits the cars that you video. This was a big deal at Old Town because there were maybe 500 cars there when I was there. By the end of the evening, I think they probably had about 700. It's a, a yearly anniversary of uh, that car show, so they attract an awful lot of cars. And in addition to that, I went to uh, another car show on Disney property. And that's a once in a great while show. Uh, that uh, was about the hundred cars. And again, I have seen many of those cars before. So that limited the number of cars that I videoed there. And Sunday I went to uh, fairgrounds in neighboring county. And the variety of cars there varies a great deal. And sometimes they have a bunch of cars for sale that are really good shape, and sometimes they're not in so good shape. And so out of approximately 700 cars that I saw over this past weekend, I came up with 16 videos. And that's only a hit rate of about 2 to 3% in the number of cars seen. So that means I have to see an awful lot of cars to get car videos. Uh, the primary time that you can see cars is in the spring and the winter and the fall down here. In the summer, a lot of people leave the state 
and go to cooler climates and we can't blame them. Uh, but that means that there are fewer cars at the car shows. And another factor that limits my uh, number of cars is that I tend to video cars that are in excellent shape. And I think some wonder how I how I found all these great cars in great shape. Well, believe me, all the cars that are out there at shows are not in this shape. I particularly select cars in the best shape. I sometimes vary from that when I see a car that is exceptionally rare and just deserves attention because you just never see one of those. So I will video a car sometimes in, in very bad condition, but if it's exceptionally rare, that's another another deal. So that gives you an idea of the limits here of uh, of my videoing. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy the uh, the comments that are made. I learn a lot from uh, those comments, and uh, I am particularly appreciative of everybody who views the videos. I hope that uh, the, these videos serve as a learning tool for those that were not familiar with these cars. I was lucky in that I grew up with cars in the from the 40s and the 50s and the 60s all the way through, and I remember when they were brand new and in the showrooms. So I have a perspective that some of you out there share because you're essentially my age uh, or a little bit younger, but a lot of you, and I'm pleased to see it, are young people, and uh, I'm pleased to have you on board and learning about these cars, and uh, so it's, it's great that I have viewers who can share their experiences with these cars with uh, my younger viewers. Because that's what it's uh, really my intention to do with these uh, videos. So um, that I think about winds it up. I, my intention is to continue videoing, but I think you'll understand if I can't be as maybe as productive as I have been in the past. I had a lot of backlog of videos, and now I have essentially closed that gap. I have very few videos uh, in the uh, in basket at this point, about 11 as I remember, and I remember the time when it was maybe 50 or 60 that were in the in basket, so uh, you'll pardon me if I don't always have videos at the same rate that I always did, but I'm trying to continue uh, responding to your comments and producing videos that uh, I think we can all learn from. Again, this channel and my work would be nothing without the uh, dedicated viewership and comments that I receive, and I sure am pleased that you do that. So I'm game to continue if you're game to continue watching. So thanks a lot.